Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a completely automatic zombie XP farm. And first things first, here are some materials needed on the screen. If you haven't seen my last tutorial video, then definitely go check that out because, well, you're going to need it for this and I don't feel like digging all that out again. So, uh, come back when you watch that, okay? You back? Alright, let's get started. And also, this is kind of important. This will also work for Java. It will work for both editions, uh, both Bedrock and Java, okay? I failed to mention that in the last video, so, yeah, I just felt it's a good time to mention. First things first, you want to give yourself a little bit of breathing room, so just dig out the walls just a bit. Alright, and there we go. So now you want to dig out the floor. Make sure your spawner is turned off so that way you don't have uh, zombies just pouring down on you while you're trying to make this. So this farm is going to be kind of late game-ish, but if you're a starter, then uh, go back to that other video and don't watch this, okay? So what you want to do is place pistons like this. And boom, you should have something like that. Then you want to place observers like that on each and every side. All right, and now uh, redstone dust behind each observer that you can see the little uh, redstone thing right there. And behind each piston. Then you want to come back in with comparators. Put them on every side. Then once you got that, you want to dig down over here. You have to place a lever under one of the pistons. So, like this one will do. Because you can't place them on the outside because um, that's just not going to work. We have redstone there. So, yeah, you got to place it at the bottom. And then what you want to do is come back here and place in some carpets. Then you want to get two tridents. This is optional. One trident will work, but two is just more efficient. So you want to throw them into the carpets. Like that. Oop, I picked one up. Hang on. Like that. And then come down here. Flick the, flick the lever. It'll make one cycle. Go back down here. And then flick the lever again. And there you go, it works. Okay, so we want to stop this real quick and we want to make a collection system. Now you want to mine out under here. You don't want to break the blocks that the carpets are on because, well, that'll cause problems for you. So you want to mine out where everything is. All right, and then you want some powered rails right here. So you just need something to power it. For me, just redstone block. It's gonna go over here, over here, around these corners, over here, redstone block, another powered rail, and you just wanna have a chest or like a double chest, your choice, and then hopper right there, another powered rail, and boom. So you can just place it down. You're gonna need to give it a bit of a shove to get it going, and then boom, it should work. All right, so now you can go back up and activate your uh, your spawner. Hold on, hold on, I'm getting a bit ahead of myself. You need to put glass or just your block of choice around all this. And now you can uh, activate your spawner. And now you can activate your trident killer. All right, so we can just go up to that uh, AFK spot. We could just wait until some zombies spawn. So I'm gonna wait for just a bit. All right, I've waited for just a bit. So now we can come back down here and collect all of our XP. So you just gotta stand in one of these corners and then all the XP should just flow right to you. And as always, if you did enjoy, please consider leaving a like and also writing me a comment. And if you wanna see more tutorials from me and just other videos, just me in general, my channel, everything I do, then please consider subscribing. It would help me out a ton and I would very, very much appreciate it. And as always, stay hydrated. Peace out.